day welcome back to the sewing room i did film yesterday but i ended up not liking the footage that i got i finished this shirt and it's okay but it's not perfect and there's a little bit that i need to tweak on it and just the way that it looked looked on camera i didn't want to get a whole bunch of comments just saying oh it doesn't fit it doesn't look right because i know it does fit i just hadn't put it together properly and um, as in like put an outfit together properly and i just need to tweak the bottom hem here because this is bulging over it so i've got that down here today and then the other thing is this waistcoat I am not happy with how the back of this is sitting. It's it's the outer is too big for the lining, so I need to take the side seams apart so I can take the back seam apart to flatten that all out. So I'm going to work on those two things this morning and just get those tweaked because I think that they'll be great once they're tweaked, but at the moment they're not perfect. The shirt I will show you it a bit later. It didn't work out br as perfectly as I wanted, but that was a wearable muslin, so it, it'll be great for my battery's dying, two secs. That's better. So yes, the shirt, it's slightly too tight around the hips. I only added, I only added half an inch, one inch, two inches. I added three inches around the bottom of it, and I need to add probably another two and a half three inches in total because it was just too tight on on my hips which is fine i mean this this was an experiment that was what the uh, wearable muslin fodder was for mom's trying to quietly let the dog out she's going to then sit on the other side and scratch at the door you know that mom yeah it, you know it was it was an experiment it did what i needed it to do it's told me that i need to make the circumference around my butt bigger it's not really a surprise and this will be fine for wearing tucked into the skirts and hopefully the trousers that I make although I'm not sure it's going to work for the trousers because it needs to be quite a heavyweight material so that you can't see the shirt underneath of it because I tried it on with the skirt from this fabric and you could see the outline of the bottom of the shirt and I think that's just because this fabric is really really lightweight so I'm kind of re I, th I did think I said yesterday that I was thinking about getting some more of this to make some trousers with and whilst I love that idea I'm actually kind of rethinking it because if you tuck things into it and they're so super super visible not the like it's not see-through but it's the the weight of the fabric is so light that it's you can you can see anything any kind of any lump and bump underneath of it and we all know how I feel about lumps and bumps. Shirt was semi-successful. I did try it on under my 8577 and the sleeves looked fabulous. Unfortunately the collar is too big to go under the neckline of that shirt dress which means that I'm going to have to have a look at possibly making a different style of collar and shirt to go under that shirt dress because I would like to wear shirts under that shirt dress with dog's on the other side of the door whining now <laughs> with what was i saying oh the sleeves it's the sleeves that i love so i can just smoosh these sleeves onto other patterns other shirt patterns not a problem because the sleeves are fabulous 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 the body of this is pretty good i'm getting there i am getting there but the sleeves are amazing so i'm going to tweak the hem of this one tweak the hem of the waistcoat then I have the 6013 waistcoat in the raw silk. I have the pleated and gathered skirt in the embroidered cotton. I've got the beach pajamas, and then I've also got the 7131 trousers in the viscose maracane, no, viscose crepe to do as well. So I'm going to start working my way through that little pile. I'm hoping I can get them all done this weekend so that I can work on the wool Sorrento jacket on Monday and Tuesday because Wednesday is filming day and then Thursday I'm leaving for London yeah wish me luck I will obviously report back and let you know how I get on okay again probably not with this dress in fact definitely not with this dress but I have kind of redone the back and it's sitting a lot flatter now which is great so I didn't have to take the side seams apart, I only got into the side seam on one side that I had slip stitched into place, kind of smoothed everything out and then I have hand stitched the lining to the outer along the back and it's sitting a lot smoother. There was quite a big difference, I'm really not sure how that happened at all because 
they were cut from the same pan piece but never mind these things happen much happier with this now i have also fiddled with the hem of the shirt i'm gonna put that on to show you i've only got i have again i've got a dress on so i didn't really think this through so i have got, i have got a slip on so i'm not going to be completely a man wear but the um the hem of this shirt is not good i don't know what happened with that one either but I'm going to always wear it tucked into stuff so I think the top of it is good. I need to work on the hem anyway as I mentioned earlier it's just not wide enough to go over my hips. So um, yeah two sex. Okay so the top part of this shirt is pretty good but the hem of this shirt is not good. I have tried to fix it and I think I might have made things worse but never mind because the top part of it looks great and this is the part that people are going to see because I'm never going to wear this shirt untucked that's just not going to happen and i'm not going to show you the bottom of it because it is a mess and uh, you don't need to see that but i love these sleeves absolutely love these sleeves they are brilliant and i think what i'm and i love this collar as well so i think what i'm gonna do is try again with this shirt although i do have other shirt patterns that got this kind of shape and i could possibly put this collar and these sleeves onto them hang on let me grab it okay so it's the McCall's 8040 and it's got the princess seams it doesn't have the darts but that's okay uh, it does have big sleeves already but not as big as these ones but it doesn't have the collar but I'm wondering if I could just add this kind of collar detail to it kind of splice it on this is what I want I want a fitted shirt i don't want one that's got lots of volume in the body of it because i'm only ever going to wear them tucked in and i want to make sure that they kind of tuck into everything neatly i did try this on with the skirt that i made yesterday and the skirt fabric just shows every lump and bump so i probably won't wear it with that skirt i do however like it with the waistcoat because the collar is awesome under this waistcoat once i've done it up two sex i think the colors clash a little bit more i i kind of thought i could get away with it and i think maybe i could but like i say the um bottom of this shirt really shows through this fabric of the skirt i, I did try it yesterday and um yeah it's not quite right but the collar and the sleeves this is exactly what i want i have a denim one of this waistcoat and also a white one of this waistcoat which i could wear this this shirt with again though the the white skirt that i've got that goes with that waistcoat probably will show every lump and bump of this shirt underneath it as well because it's not very full that's the problem with this skirt the skirt from this material that's not very full either i'm thinking maybe i need to try the kind of bodysuit attached to shirt and i know I've, I've got a pattern that's got like a viscose or a, like a drapey woven top with the bodysuit bottoms underneath of it and like i say i'm gonna always wear these shirts and stuff tucked in and i want it to be sleek so maybe that's something that i need to try in the future i don't think i am going to cut this shirt as is out of my savannah viscose as yet because it's not in fact i know i'm not because it's not perfect but i know i'm heading in the right direction i love this collar it works really well under this waistcoat i love these sleeves and I can always splice these things onto something like this 8040 and see how I get on with that because it is princess seamed, it's fitted. I could give it a try because I can, yeah, I can always add this, these bits on, can't I? That might be my, my next experiment in uh, shirts. But from the waist up, I'm very happy with it. Waist down, not so much, but the waist down is the bit that I tried. <laughs> and as we know, I am not a pattern drafting expert. I mean, I'm not an expert at anything. I'm just fluffing my way through this as I go. This hasn't quite worked out the way I wanted to. It's gonna get worn. Don't, I mean, don't worry. It's gonna get worn because I can tuck it in. I put it on last night with the Savannah five panel circle skirt that I've made and it looks really nice with that. And the fabric, the, the skirt is full enough that 
you it, there was no kind of bulges or bulk underneath where it was tucked in i think i need to have a look at sort of the bodysuit option because the other thing i don't like is when you raise your arms and shirts come untucked i don't like that either so maybe the bodysuit option is the way forward and i have a few patterns bodysuit patterns maybe i need to experiment with some of those i will of course take you along with me so anyway now that i've got these two well this one fixed and then this one not fixed but i don't think it's going to get any more it's, it's not going to get any better than it is now so i'm going to leave it alone because otherwise it's just going to get worse <laughs> so i uh, now that i've got these two kind of done i'm going to move on to the 6013 waistcoat and give that a try wish me luck two hours later okay waistcoat number two for this session is done and uh, i really like it i had to cut the underneath out of cotton lawn because i ran out of this silk but i actually think that's worked in my favor because it did get very bulky around the kind of like seam here because we've got two layers of the silk and the uh, collar in there as well but i yeah i like this style i have gone for a hook and eye at the join here i um, used a fur hook because they tend to be kind of bigger and I went for one that's kind of a blondie colour. The pattern would have you put on a loop for a button here but I was really, I just didn't want to put any strain on this fabric so I didn't want to sew in a button to it. Although I could have sewn a button on the underside as well which would have helped reinforce it but fur hook has worked really well. Um, yeah i'm really pleased that i scooped out the back because i think this fits way better the pattern piece was meant to be cut on the fold and i've cut it with i didn't add any seam allowance i just cut it out so i've actually taken out an inch and a quarter out of the waist and i'm glad that i did i still have my belt on under this yeah i'm glad that i did take that inch and a quarter out of the back seam and I'm glad that I've kind of scooped it out and fitted it at the back. I think that's worked really well. I like this. I kind of like it over this dress as well. Not sure it works with the collar. I do, yeah, I do kind of like it with this with this dress, but I th the collar's not quite right. This could also be a jacket. If I made it this size, it would be quite a close fitting jacket, but I still think it might work. I actually didn't trace out the sleeves because I thought, well, you know what, I'm never going to want to wear this as a jacket. But I actually think this would look quite nice as a jacket. I mean, I wouldn't have been able to do this material as a jacket, didn't have enough of it. And I had to cut the back panels on the cross grain and I think you can tell, but I actually think it looks quite nice. I don't know if you actually can tell, I'll see when I edit this later. But yeah, I'm quite pleased with this. I have fully lined it, which again, the pattern doesn't say to do, but this fabric needs to be fully lined. And yes, I have used the Lena Crepe yet again. There will definitely be more waistcoats in this style as well. I like the collar on it. I think I'm going to go back and trace the sleeves for it as well, because I do think this is going to make a really nice jacket i wanted to do a silk dupioni jacket didn't i like the um, D, D suit and i had talked about the bellatrix blazer which will work but this is a very similar shape to the bellatrix bla blazer so yeah this could work really really nicely for that as well the way i've done it i ended up having to hand stitch the lining in on the bottom seam which is totally fine and it allowed quite a lot of control in that area there is a way of doing this where I wouldn't, I could have machine stitched it all and then turned it through a side seam, but I was kind of winging it with, with the lining of this. It's gonna look really nice with the skirt that I've made out of this as well, with possibly that piratey coral shirt that I made earlier, because that collar's gonna look nice under this, I think. And then I have some shirts. I have some shirts that have got ruffles down the front. I mean, we could we're getting into serious serious pirate territory there aren't we <laughs> but yeah 
I, uh, I'm really pleased with this. Really, really pleased with this. I am going to start working on the trousers next. I think it's about five o'clock. So I'm going to go see what mum and dad are doing for dinner. Go say hi to Chi, give her some food. And then I'm going to come back down here and yeah, I think work on the trousers next. Which probably means I need to bring down some kind of top so I can show you them to you later. She'll try and remember that. Trousers next. One eternity later. I remembered a t-shirt. So, I have finished my trousers. I really like them. I knew I would because I've made them before. This time around I've made this, they're really, really long. I've made the size 14 and then put the size 10 elastic in at the back. And I think that's worked quite well. Although I think I am going to make the elastic slightly smaller for the next one. Although I might give it try giving it a steam and see if that helps. These are incredibly long. Incredibly long. But I'd rather have them too long than and then I can hem them than too short. So I am yeah, I'm really pleased with these. I have got tights on underneath, so they are kind of sticking to my legs a little bit. But these are so much more comfortable than the last pair that I made which is great because the last pair I made I did not make the crotch depth deep enough that's for sure these ones they are slightly too big I mean they're not they're not like falling down too big but I think they could definitely do with being a little bit tighter but these again were a wearable muslin so at least I know that for the next pair because there will be another pair in the savannah linen chambray i i'm wondering if i can just get in there and tighten up some of the elastic possibly could yeah possibly could but um all in all very pleased with them and we'll make them again as i say in the linen chambray so that's good that's nice I'm glad i've had a win they are super wide legged like really really wide legged but that's great because I don't have to worry about them over my hips I like the pleats at the front there's a central box pleat that goes up here and then knife pleats here towards the pockets so it's a lovely pattern as you can see from the pattern envelope it you can do them in a variety of lengths and I think I would probably like these in the clot length as well as this length because it kind of does look like a secret skirt. I have got so much fabric in these ones that I am going to kind of work out how much I need to take off to shorten the pattern because I do only have two and a half meters of the Savannah linen chambray and I was a bit worried that I'm not going to be able to fit these pattern pieces on so I'm definitely going to take the excess length out of these for the next pair definitely made these slightly too big but they do go over my hips really really easily like the one I made the size 10 which technically still fits my waist especially with it being elasticated in the back because it was for a 28 inch waist I barely got them over my hips then so I did go for, like I say, the size 14 this time. And then I've just used the size 10 elastic in the elasticated part of the back. I'm going to see if I can tighten these elastics up probably by... Because I want it to sit here. Because the bottom of the waistband is meant to be on my waist. So it's supposed to go over the waist. So I'm going to try and take like an inch out of the elastic. Just to shorten that a bit. Which hopefully I can do. I have secured the elastic in quite thoroughly, but that's what a stitch rip is for. So yeah, I should be able to do that. Pleased with that, but I am really, really hungry. So I am going to call it a night. I'm not gonna get these hemmed this evening. I'm gonna call it a night and I will go and have some dinner and cause it's about eight o'clock and my tummy's rumbling. And then I am gonna be back down here tomorrow for the hangout and we'll be doing a pleated and gathered skirt. So exciting very exciting definitely definitely should get through this pile and i think even if i don't get the beach pajamas and pleated again the skirt finished tomorrow i am going to work on the sorrento jacket on monday and tuesday because i would like to take that up to london with me anyway on that note i hope you've enjoyed my day there's been a lot of waffle two finished garments two kind of fixes pleased with all that but food is calling me so i shall see you all tomorrow bye